Hey y'all, what's up? It's Kyle here doing a uh, Survivor Series um, review. I just finished watching it online. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, first match um, opened up with uh, was for the United States title. Dolph Ziggler going up against um, uh, John Morrison. This was what I thought was a really good match to open it up. Um, once again, Dolph Ziggler just proven he is one of the best wrestlers in that company and of today. Um, you know, I said since 2009, Dolph Ziggler is something. I'm like, I don't know what he is yet, but I'm like, I have a, I have a feeling back in 2009, I'm like, Dolph Ziggler is something. It's going to be something special. My friend Mark was one of my closest friends who watches wrestling too, big wrestling fan. He told me, like, Dolph Ziggler, the guy from the Spear Squad, Psh, no way. He's not going to mount to anything. But he even saw the match tonight off the pay-per-view, called me up and said, dude, I think I might start to be a fan. I think I think tonight I'm going to be a, I'm starting to be a fan of Dolph Ziggler because that match was fantastic. I mean, Dolph Ziggler has the look. Um, I mean, just he has that confidence. He has that fire. Um, Dolph Ziggler is going to be a very big star in the WWE. I guarantee it. I've said it since 2009, and I'm saying it now. Dolph Ziggler is going to be big in the future. But like I said, fantastic match with um, John Morrison. Dolph Ziggler getting the victory. Um, afterwards, he cut a pretty good promo, and saying, you know, he challenges anyone to follow that. Um, the second match after that was the Divas Lumberjack match. With Beth Phoenix and, uh, excuse me, with Beth Phoenix and um, Eve. Um, this match wasn't really any special. Um, the crowd was dead during this entire match. Um, I didn't, I was expecting, you know, Eve to have some of a home field advantage since she's not, you know, she's from New York, but they didn't even cheer her on, really. Um, but Eve uh, getting successful with the title title defense. Um, after that, uh, we get into a promo with The Rock, which I enjoyed. I liked a lot. Um, I don't think it was necessary for it to go on as long as it did, but it was still enjoyable and uh, fun to watch. Um, after that, we get into the 5-on-5 five five Survivor Series tag match, um, Team Orton versus Team Wade Barrett. Um, this match turned out to be exactly how I thought it was going to be. Um, since they had announced the two teams two weeks ago on SmackDown, and my thoughts on this match were absolutely right going into it, and is that it absolutely sucked. I thought this was possibly one of the worst um, five on five Survivor Series tag match I have ever seen. I mean, a lot of botches. Um, there was this one spot where uh, Coffee Kingston and Sin Cara uh, both dived from the uh, from the top ropes to hit Jack Swagger and Unico, but it looks like uh, um, uh, Sin Cara uh, hit his knee on the ring apron and botched that. And I don't know if that was uh, intentional or maybe he slipped up. Um, you know, and like I said, you know, it happens sometimes. You know, when some is is very rare, but it does happen sometimes for wrestlers may slip off a rope. But I've never seen a seen a wrestler who slips off and, mess, and, and messes up his knee, you know, from a rope. You know, I've never heard of saying that before in my life. Like I said, I don't know if it was intentional or not to put Sin Cara out of the match. Um, if it was intentional, you know, to put him out of the match, I think mean, that was crappy booking. Um, if it was unintentional, he had, he had a legitimate injury. If he did have a legitimate injury because of that, I mean, Wow. That's bad for Sin Cara because I mean that that just I means he just botches everything. I mean from every match that he's had coming into WWE to I mean just a simple dive off the rope and he botched that and he gets injured. If that's legit, I mean wow, just just wow. Um, another thing, um, this Unico, I I don't like him at all. He's terrible, terrible wrestler. I don't know why they give Unico the spotlight that he gets. They should put Epico in there because I've seen some. I've seen Epico stuff in, in FCW, and Epico is a way better wrestler to me than Unico. Um, but anyway, um, like the uh, Wade Barrett's team um, getting the victory over on uh, over on Orton's team. I mean, like they're just awful booking in this in this match. You know, a lot of bogus, stupid, screwy um, eliminations. Um, like just a lot of botches. And the like, and I can say this going into the pay per view, the fact that of how they just really the, the teams had no build up, they just randomly just slapped, you know, ten guys together and said, oh, you're a team and you're a team. Um, they didn't none of these guys were like legit strong teams, you know. 
just awful. After that, Mark Henry, um, they had the world title match with Mark Henry versus um, Big Show. Um, this match wasn't that great. Um, I expected it to be, you know, just as good, if not close to it, to the match that they had at Vengeance. This match wasn't really good, uh, you know, just, they really didn't get to really lock up that much. A lot of, you know, headlocks, pushing, getting out of the ring to catch a breath, headlock, pushing to get out of the ring, catch a breath, you know, and uh, Mark Henry ended up kicking Big Show between the legs, causing a DQ. So Mark Henry's still the world champion, but only on disqualification, which I thought was kind of cheap, you know. You've had a guy like Mark Henry be so dominant during, you know, these last couple of months, you know, just brutal, just brutally destroying people, but in a clean way, I guess you want to say. But tonight having him to get the low ball, I, I just think it just completely just discredits and just tarnishes Mark Henry as this monster heel because he does not need to cheat or, you know, to to get a victory over someone. I think he should have gotten a clean victory tonight over Big Show, you know, because of what happened at Vengeance, because there was no contest. And, yeah. So that happened there. Um, Mark Henry was, was going to break Big Show's leg with a steel chair. Big Show dodged it, and Big Show ended up doing it to Mark Henry, breaking Mark Henry's leg with the chair. Um, and I thought maybe this, maybe Daniel Bryan might come in um, with money to the bank. I'm like, this is another opportunity. But that didn't happen, but that's fine. After that, we get to the match CM Punk versus uh, Alberto De Rio. Um, this was a, this was a, I marked out for um, – Howard Finkel, um, looked like Howard Finkel was really nervous, and um, <laughs> it kind of messed up a little times, um, a, a little bit, um, in announcing CM Punk's name, but, you know, that's that's fine, you know, great Hall of Famer, um, I thought it was pretty awesome to have, you know, one of the best uh, ring announcers to call out CM Punk, um, but yeah, the match between Alberto De Rio and CM Punk, um, to me, I think this would be the second best match of the night, um, after the Ziggler-Morrison um, match. Punk won the WWE Championship, getting the victory. Um, I marked out. I jumped out of my seat like, yes, Punk is finally, you know, five-time world champ. Um, hopefully, they're going to give him a great run with this. Hopefully, Punk would um, get in the belt tonight. Please, I pray. But, um, yeah, so maybe, uh, yeah, so I like I said, I marked out on that, and Punk got the victory. Then we get on to the main event. Uh, John, not John Morrison. Uh, Austin True is going up against John Cena and Rock. Um, Rock came out, looked fantastic. Um, I mean, just in great shape and everything else. In the ring, hadn't skipped a beat. I mean, was fast. He wasn't slow. He didn't move like an old man. He moved just as quick and just as fast and energetic like he did back in, you know, 2002, 2001. You know, hadn't skipped a beat at all. And there, And I just want to say, you know, there you go, all you John Cena fans out there who say John, uh, uh, you know, Rock is too old and you know he ain't got nothing. You know, look at it tonight. Rock proved he still got it. He still he can still compete with the best of him. He can still move. You know, like a he he still was quick and, and agile like a Randy Orton or a John Cena or whatever. Um, and and, it, and that's also another thing too to all those so-called fans fans who are supposed to be fans of Rock and say. Oh, Rock left the WWE for seven years. What has he done lately? Rock ain't nothing. Rock is nothing. Well, looking at Rock tonight, he showed all you, all you complainers, all you Rock, all you Rocky fans who claim that Rock turned turned your backs on. T -t 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 he turned your he turned his back on us. Rock proved all you haters wrong. John Cena fans, people who talked about Rock for years, say, oh, Rock has turned his back on us. Why is he back? He hasn't done crap within the, within the last seven years, which is another story because I don't think, you know, why should Rock have stayed in WWE? But still, he proved all your haters wrong. Um, but as for the match itself, um, the match was okay. You know, like I said, besides Rock, you know, Rock was, like I said, no rain rust, didn't skip a beat, great, um, great stuff from the Rock. Um, but, you know, the match itself, you know, really wasn't that that great, you know, the tag match. Um, and I think part of that is due to, you know, you have two big stars like Rock and Cena going up against guys like Miz and Truth who are no higher than a mid-card and slightly upper mid-card. 
So I guess, you know, it it really didn't make anything of it. It really didn't make that match that great. The only great thing you, you really can say you got out of this tag this tag match was the return of the rock because he has not been back in such a long time. But, you know, besides the rock being a, you know, a special attraction, um there was really nothing else I would say you, that that came out of this this match that was really special, um, other than the Rock just being there and wrestling again. Um, it was nice to see for a change John Cena being the sacrificial lamb um, in the tag match because if anyone who knows John Cena, who's always in a tag match with someone else, his partners always get beat down the most, and John Cena really gets beat up in the tag match. But tonight, John Cena was finally a sacrificial lamb once for a change, and I was happy than the mug. Anyway, uh, Rock got the pin on uh, our, not our shoot, but on the Miz, um, having him and Cena win. During the end, uh, Cena and Rock, uh, you know, well, Rock called Cena into the ring and basically kind of competing with the Rock. I mean, with John Cena totally, you know, look, you know, uh, let's see if we can get the, the loudest crowd reaction. You know, you can't get it like me. And the crowd was, you know, popping for Rock and booing Cena. And then um, I think, from what I remember, thing, John, uh, Rock tried to shake, was going to shake uh, John Cena's hands. John Cena was going in for it. Rock gave him a rock bottom. And uh, the show ended with, you know, Cena leaving the ring, holding his back, and Rock cussing him out. So, all in all, I thought it was a, I thought the Survivor Series tonight was a, it was a good pay-per-view. It wasn't great, but it wasn't crappy. It was just a good pay-per-view. Um, would it be one of the best pay-per-views of the year? In my opinion, no. It might be for others. It's only simple, only for the simple fact because of The Rock. If Rock was not in this pay-per-view at all, I don't think anyone would consider, if we still had the match that we had tonight, I don't think anyone in their minds would consider this to be one of the best pay-per-views of the year. Um, so, like I said, it, it was a good pay-per-view. Um, some of the matches were okay. The best matches to me were the uh, Ziggler-Jomo match, followed by the... Uh, Punk and Alberto match. Those were the best matches of the night. Great to see The Rock, you know, my one of two all-time favorite wrestlers. So that was great. Like I said, and Rock didn't skip a beat. So Survivor Series tonight, it, it was good. Um, I thought the build-up for this pay-per-view was crap, but um, for all in all, it, it, was, it was okay. Um, yeah, so that's my review on tonight's Survivor Series. Um, what did you guys think about it? Did you like anything from it? Didn't like, didn't like anything about anything about it. Um, comment, subscribe, like the vid, and what do you guys think of The Rock um, returning back and all that other stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Um, peace out.